Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about the match between Athletic Club and FC Barcelona. This is going to be a match where Barcelona is going to be playing away from home. Now, it is clear that this is going to be a very tough match. Athletic Club has always been a club that has always given problems towards Barcelona. And you look at what Athletic Club has done in the Super Cup and their run. They beat Atletico Madrid and they have also given a very tough fight against Real Madrid in that final. Now, I do think that this match here because it is going to be a Copa del Rey round of 16 match. This is going to be a very important win for Barcelona. Barcelona must win this match at all costs because that is only going to give Xavi's Barcelona a winning spirit. It is basically going to confirm that they are on the correct path and going up against Athletic Club and grabbing a win, it is going to be very important. So this round of 16 match, it is a mandatory win. We need to act like we are defending champions of the Copa del Rey because we actually are. We are the defending champions. We won last year. Now, in that last run, Barcelona, they have won through the brilliance of Frankie de Jong, Antoine Griezmann, and Lionel Messi, of course. Now, in this current tournament in the Copa del Rey, we don't have Griezmann and we don't have Lionel Messi, two players who really brought the Copa del Rey to FC Barcelona. But now, this team that we have today, which is a very different team to what Koeman had about a year ago, we are much more united than ever. We are much more of a collective team than ever before. And so, what we do demand coming from this Barcelona team under Xavi is to have a collective performance against Athletic Club. We want every player to show up. We want every player to give out their maximum. Now, before we go into that predicted starting 11 and what starting 11 could face up against Athletic Club, and before we go into Xavi's press conference and how he did speak about Dembele, I first do want to speak on Araujo and Minguesa. And I'm going to give you guys some like small updates regarding these two center backs. And so let's first start with Araujo. And it does say here, according to Ferran Martinez, the club will meet with his agent in these next few days. The idea is to renew him for five more seasons. Then we also do have Mateo Moreto confirming that Barcelona's plan is to present a formal renewal proposal in the coming days. And this has always been the idea, right? You and me do know this, that Barcelona do want to renew Araujo because they do believe that he is capable to not just be one of the best center backs in the world, but the best center back in the world. Now, I have always said this when it came to Araujo is that he has never showed that he thinks he is bigger than he actually is. Like some players come into Barcelona or some center backs come into Barcelona and they act like they are Van Dijk. Araujo has shown to be a great example that he came in here, he played well, he showed why he is a very important player for Barcelona and now Barcelona want to present him with a great offer. That is how you earn a great contract. Many, Again, many players come into Barcelona thinking that they're bigger than they actually are. Now, it is very unknown right now on what that salary is going to be for Araujo. We do not know what the release clause is going to be either, but the renewal of this center back here this Uruguayan is very important. I do think that besides Ansu Fati, when it comes to the renewals, Araujo's contract renewal is more important than Pedri, Gavi, and Dembele. Now moving on towards Minguesa, which is another center back that we have not seen much within this season. He has been linked with Valencia, and it does say here, according to Luis Rojo, that Valencia are interested in getting Oscar Minguesa on a loan. Initial contacts have taken place between Barcelona and Valencia over a six-month loan deal without an option to buy. As of now, nothing is final. Everything is just in principle. So Xavi has showed that right now in this season, he does rely on four center backs, which is Lenglet, Gerard Piquet, Araujo, and Eric Garcia. Minguesa right now, he needs to show more. He needs to show that he is not just a defender, but he is also someone that can give great ball distribution. He can pressure very well. He can be very press resistant. Like for example, Eric Garcia is someone that is great on the ball. He is press resistant. Araujo is great in terms of pressuring the opposition. Minguesa does need to stand out in one of those aspects of the game. And if we look at Minguesa's game, he has not been the best on the ball, nor on a 1v1 duel. He does not seem the most confident. So right now, I do think that even though many of us do believe that Minguesa can reach that level, he is simply just not there yet. And I do think that a loan would do him good. It's not bad at all. And I also do agree that Minguesa should not be sold. In this summer, he does need more time. I think that in time, he will earn a great place, a great role under Chavis Barcelona. But right now, it is the time for him to develop and a great place would be like what it does say here, Valencia. But now let's go back into that match between Athletic Club and FC Barcelona because look, Xavi did say a lot of things regarding Dembélé's situation and he gave his opinion and that is what I do want to focus on. Now he has spoken about how hard the rival is when it comes to Athletic Club. He has also spoken about Busquets and how important he is for Barcelona. He also admitted that yes, Busquets is very well aware that he does make mistakes that do cost Barcelona the game, but he continues to back Sergio Busquets and then he has praised Ansu Fati 
Muhyiddin has said that he is fortunate to have Ansu Fati in his disposal. But again, we are going to be focusing on his thoughts on Dembélé. And this is going to be a very big statement. I'm going to be reading a lot here, so hang with me here. So this is what Xavi had to say, and I quote, We are in a difficult situation. The club has made the decision that if he does not renew, a solution will be sought. We have been in talks with the player and his agent for months. We cannot wait any longer. Either renew or we look for a solution. It's a pity because he knows the project and has had my trust, but it has to be one thing or another now. Either Dembele renews or an exit will be sought out for him. I don't consider sending him to the stands. I have been very clear with with Dembélé. The situation is not understood. He wants to stay, but he isn't taking that step. I also wonder about the agent is talking the way he is, and Dembélé on the other hand telling me he wants to stay. I don't understand it either, but as I say, that's a decision he has to make and make it quickly. Dembélé tells me he wants to renew, that he wants to continue, and I have been very clear. Either he renews or a way out is found, because in the end, we have to decide the best interest for this club. So, this is a very big statement coming from Xavi Hernandez, and I remember looking at those interviewers, they were asking him about Dembélé many times, which is why we saw Xavi speak on Dembélé many times during that press conference, and he gave out some very interesting details. Now, again, he has made it very well known that Dembélé is part of Xavi's project. The agreement is real. This is not like we're hearing some reports coming out with a rumor about Xavi and Dembélé speaking about how there is agreement. No, this is real. Like, Xavi is saying this to the media. And so, this is also basically confirming that the agent and the player, they are separated. Like, they both see the future of Dembélé's career very differently. And if Xavi, who clearly said he does not understand why the agent is acting like this and why Dembele has said that he wants to stay, the fact that he is confused and he does not understand what's going on, what makes you think that you and me can understand what's happening between Dembele, the agent, and football club Barcelona? So it's a very difficult moment right now for both Xavi and Joan Laporta and Mateo Alemán because right now we are in a position where we do not know whether we should use Dembele or not, and especially in that next game against Athletic Club. Because if we know that Dembele is not going to renew and we know that he will be leaving in June 2022, then right now will be a great time to continue to develop a front three of Ansu Fati, Memphis, and Ferran, or Ansu Fati, Ferran, and Abde, and really work with these four players for the next five to six months. Because it would make no sense to think that Dembele is going to renew and we use him and he ends up leaving and we found out that we have missed the chance to really grow these four players, which does consist of Ansu, Memphis, Ferran, and Abde, and even Jugla, or maybe Elias. And that is why I do say that it is very difficult for both both Xavi, John Laporta, Mateo Alemán, and Football Club Barcelona. We do not know at the moment how we're going to be moving forward. Now, there has been a report that did come out about four to five hours ago basically explaining that Xavi is going to be talking with Mateo Alemán to talk about where Dembélé is at, should he be using him in this next game, and that is going to be one of the reasons on why we have yet to see the squad list as of now. Like, at the time that I am recording, the squad list was supposed to be out already, but the squad list is not out yet. They do not know whether they want to include Dembélé in that squad list, but now this is going to lead us towards our predicted starting 11. Now that we know that there is a big chance that Dembélé may not feature in this match. Now, one thing to really take note of before we go into this predicted starting 11 is going to be two things. Point number one, Athletic Club is one of the best defensive teams in La Liga so far. They are considered in second place with only allowing 0.8 goals per 90. Point number two, Memphis Depay has done individual training today, which means that he has not done collective training with the group and there may be a big chance that he may not even start or feature in this game against Athletic Club. So now that we have those two things out the way, this is what the predicted starting 11 could look like going up against Athletic Club, which is going to be a 4-3-3 formation with a defensive line of Alba on the left, Araujo and Piquet as the center back duo, Alves on the right back position as for our midfield, Busquets, Pedri and Gavi as for our front three, Abde on the right wing, Ferran Torres as the striker and Ansu Fati as the left winger. Now, three things to point out from this starting 11. Point number one, I'm very excited to see Ferran Torres play play as a striker. I know that Xavi has used him as a right winger before in that match against Real Madrid, but I do think that we are going to be seeing Ferran Torres as a striker tomorrow night because of Memphis Depay's potential absence, and I do see Ansu Fati and Abde taking on those winger roles. Point number two, Pedri and Gavi is going to be a duo that many of us want to see. We want to see a Pedri and Gavi duo work under Xavi's Barcelona because Xavi is literally the mastermind, the godfather of how a midfielder should be functioning within a midfield, and the fact that we have Gavi and Pedri under Xavi 
That's like one of the best things that has ever happened to this club. Like I would love to see a Gavi Pedri midfield alongside with Busquets. Point number three, the substitutions, right? The substitutions that I do want to see within this starting 11, it is going to be Frankie Dion coming in for Gavi, Nico coming in for Busquets, and Serginho Dest coming in for Dani Alves. Hopefully we get to see all of these players feature in this game. This is finally a team where they are almost 100% healthy. Many players are finally back. Xavi can finally display his best possible starting 11, a very competitive starting 11. And in this game against Athletic Club, I do expect Barcelona to really bring it. I want Barcelona to win. I do expect Barcelona to win because they do have the work ethic and the talent to do so. But that is going to be wrapping up today's Barcelona pre-match preview and daily news. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new here, welcome to the channel. Please like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys in the next video.